guys, Mike with Jeeps on the Run. We got Zach with Shooting Cars. So if you've watched his channel, he does this big friggin' bottle test and you don't have to tell the whole story, but it started, how many years ago you've been doing this? So I started this at the end of 2020. I started putting it in videos in 2021, but basically I got this big water bottle as a gift um, and my friend said, oh, it'll fit in your cup holder of your Mazda and it didn't. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Tested it in a Ford Bronco Sport. It didn't pass as well. But then I drove a Honda HRV and it fit perfectly. So I was like, <laughs> okay, maybe I'm onto something here. <laughs> so sure. 800 cars later, I think somewhere around there, it might be seven or 800 cars later. Um, it has about a 26 six percent pass rate and it's uh it's been fun to test every car so we're testing some jeeps here today at the mama fall rally and i think it's funny so you know these this is you probably got into this before like the yeti and the stanley cup yeah, sort of thing yeah, yeah yeah so all kidding aside if you're interested to know what cars hold a large well a big freaking bottle yeah uh, you're gonna definitely want to check out zach's channel yeah. because it, you'll, you'll you'll learn real quick and in so. the in the descriptions of my videos, you can find a spreadsheet of all the cars that have oh, ever passed and failed. So your, your Ram TRX is on there. We'll the do a big friggin' bottle test here in the Ram TRX. And ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, it fails. The TRX, the macho of the macho, can't hold my water bottle. <laughs> there the four by e's on there love so, it um yeah super cool and my cj2a does not have a cup holder so it, it doesn't passed, so it doesn't it fail fails. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a color match though yeah <laughs> so check out shooting cars and uh you can check out the big freaking bottle thanks Zach. awesome